If you're a fan of this channel, you know that I love drums. And that's because I'm a drummer. Drums in general are a deal breaker, and I wouldn't just recommend throwing drums into your sequences and hoping for the best. You've gotta do some massaging to get things feeling good. This video idea came up when I was experimenting with the Digitone and the Polyan Tracker. I wanted all of my drums to come from the Tracker and all of my tones to come from the Digitone. With the Polyan Tracker, we have eight tracks to work with and we're gonna keep it percussive all the way through. These two tracks at the end here, we're actually gonna be sampling the radio and using them for like percussive vocal chops. All in all, I'll be showing you how to get your drums to sound like this, starting from scratch. And today's sponsor is DistroKid. If you're shopping for a new music distributor, go with DistroKid. Make sure to use the 7% discount linked in the description of this video. We'll be talking specifically about a free promotional tool that's offered to members. It's called Hyperfollow, which is essentially like a social media link in BioLink that I'm sure you guys have all seen. So if you're currently paying monthly or considering paying monthly for that sort of service, you'd actually be saving money with DistroKid. Here we have it, let's get started. We're gonna start from scratch. First thing I'll mention with the Polyan Tracker, it's very easy for your sounds to peak, uh, specifically if there's a lot of low end. So as a rule of thumb, I always go to the master track and I lower everything by around minus five dB. Same with the overall master. And that solves that problem. Good sounds start with good samples, right? So I've uploaded a bunch of one shots that I like into the sound pool here. We're gonna start with a kick. So naturally we have kick on track one. We're currently at 126 BPM. I'm fine with that. So let's just throw some kicks in here. Three hours later. Let's listen to that. So that's a 32 step pattern. Instead of writing that in all again, I'm actually gonna go up here and copy this and then paste it. So shift, bring it down to here. Copy, here we go, paste. Same thing with snare, we're gonna find something. That's a good one. Three days later. Same thing as before, so we're gonna copy paste that to the second half of the pattern. I always like to add a bit of a variation for the second time through. Right there, so I'm actually gonna copy a single note there. Uh, copy, paste that here, paste that here, get rid of this, get rid of that whole pattern. Next thing we'll add is hi-hat. As you can see, I've actually already organized all the drums here, so there's gonna be a second snare, hi-hat is after that. If you'd like to rename any of your tracks or patterns, go to master, this page here and then go record. From there you can edit and change the name of each track. This next hi-hat that we're gonna add, I actually already know that this is gonna be the most effects heavy part of the entire pattern, so prepare yourselves. First thing of course is to find a hi-hat. Let's go with this one. Copy, paste, 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 copy, paste, shift, da, 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 da. So I've got my 16th notes pasted. This is a thing, this is a vibe. It's very stiff though. It's stiff and it takes me out of it. It's not really where I wanna go with this beat. That's actually a rule of thumb that I go by. If I add a part to my beat and it takes me out of it, I make sure to change things around, maybe soften it up, massage things into place. It sounds cheesy, but it's kind of like riding a wave of inspiration. When something catches you off guard, it sort of ruins that state of flow, so. You want to stay in that. Something that really stood out to me about the Polyan Tracker is just like the organization. You'll notice that you have four colored buttons here, which correspond to the colors of these parameters as well. And so the first thing we'll do to loosen up these hi-hats is first off, select them all, go to effects one, I'm already on volume. From there we have this fill button, which we could do a lot of things with, which are all listed right here. I'll choose volume. I'm making sure that each note in the sequence is affected. I'm gonna choose volume, go with random. And then from there I could choose the velocity of each note. So let's say just let's just try this. See how that how that balances out. Phil, let's try it. So that's already better. Let's go back to Phil. 
go maybe like 20 to 40, maybe even lower, 15 to 40, let's try that. Yeah, I like that better. It's a bit more in the background. Let's change the note of the hi-hat, go back to note here. A sounds good. Massaging it right into place. Let's take it a step further. Let's loosen it up even more. Effects two, fill. We're gonna change swing this time. Once again, random from, I don't know, 30 to 50, 55. Let's try that. So that might be a bit too much. I think 50 is like straight, so it's not swung. Go back to fill, we're gonna go to, you know, 45 to 60, let's try that. Completely different feel already. We'll go to instrument parameters, I'm gonna throw a low pass filter on there as well. Where is it? Oh, skipped it. Low pass, cut off, let's try this. Some panning as well. I could change the tuning here if I want. Overdrive. Risky, and then bit depth, this is, this is great. Eh, give me that 10. If we want, we could add reverb and delay as well. I think we'll leave it dry for now. So we're getting a little less grounded now. There's actually one last thing that I'd like to add to this hi-hat pattern. But let's go to that second hi-hat part and ground it a little bit more. So let's find a hi-hat to start with. Instrument, possibly. I like that one. There's also this step jump feature. So let's go to four copy and now when I copy it copies every four steps so it'll jump steps like that so this is a quicker way to add eighth notes or whatever other pattern you'd like definitely going to drop the note of this one you could even change the instrument from here too kind of like this one better actually go back to note Instrument parameters, I'm going to pan this to the opposite side, bring that volume down a bit. So now that we're a bit more grounded with this, I'm not gonna to touch these upbeats, but I'm gonna add notes around those upbeats. So let's hear where we wanna add those notes. Cha-ching, right there, cha-ching. Gonna paste that, make sure I have the right thing copied. Cha-ching. Ching. There as well. Paste. Ching, ching, cha ching, ching. Cha ching, ching. Like that. Okay, so once again, we're it's stepping back into that stiff territory. Let's loosen it up again. We're going to go to velocity. All the notes that are not on the upbeats, we're going to lower the velocity of those notes. So this one in, in particular. Volume, we're gonna drop that. Maybe 35, we'll try that. Uh, now we're gonna copy that and paste it on all the notes that are not on the upbeats. So this one, this one, whoops. And then these last two here. Better makes it more dynamic. Keeping track of the thing I wanted to add to the first pair of hi-hats, let's get into LFOs. If I go to this instrument parameter button here, you'll notice that it actually has a second page. That's for LFOs. I'm just gonna go ahead and experiment with something and find something I like on 
these hi-hats. We'll go with a cutoff LFO. Here we go. So for wave shape, I've chosen random to really randomize those hi-hats. In terms of speed, there's kind of a sweet spot, I think, for this 32 works and then the amount. So if you want the intensity of that LFO to go up, like to me, that's too intense. Something a bit more subtle. Zero. I'm down with that. Let's go back to that snare again. The second snare, we're gonna double it. In fact, here, I'm gonna copy paste this over and then we'll just choose a different instrument. Record, shift, select all, copy, paste. Go back up to the top, shift, select all. Instrument. Even just that might work. Let's try that. Maybe, let's bring that volume down. Very, very subtle, but it definitely adds that extra punch. Just to give you an example, like a before and after. Um, let's play, that's with the sample. Now let's mute it. Oh yeah. So I want to thicken up that snare even more. We're going to select everything, shift, select all, effects one, fill. We're going to go to micro timing, which is micro move, constant, effects value. I'm not sure. I guess 10 would be like something very subtle. Let's try this. Okay. Okay, that, obviously that's too late. So we'll go to like maybe like 20. So what this has done is actually push the snare or the snare layer back a little bit. So it kind of just thickens up the snare, makes it a bit longer. Toms or perks. Let's try that. Ding. Second note here. I'll change the pitch of this one. Ding, 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 ding. Whoops, I didn't copy it. Or no, sorry, I was in record mode. <laughs> Still trying to figure out the uh, the ins and outs. Ding, 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 ding. So I'm gonna change this down to an A, like that. Let's hear it all together. A cutoff LFO could work with the toms as well, but I don't know, I think they sound pretty good as is, so I'm just gonna leave them. So believe it or not, that's all of the drums. We only have two tracks left, so one for Vox 1 and the other one for Vox 2. And these are vocals that we're just gonna extract from the radio. So go to Sample Recorder. Immediately we're on the radio. La propriétaire Helen McCarthy sympathise avec l'histoire vécue par le représentant de la santé. Okay, that's our sample. Let's preview it. Sympathise avec l'histoire vécue par le représentant de la santé. Sympathise avec l'histoire. Let's save it. We're going to call it recording whatever. Recording 00. I think we're at 7 now. Dont le right away I'm going to do another one. Are very scared and, and shaken up over this. Uh, we're also very concerned for. Okay, that's our second one. Let's save that. We're going to call that recording 008. From there, we go to sample loader, and then we have all of our recordings here. These are all radio recordings that I've recorded. So these last two ones are the ones we're going to use 007. We're going to import that to the first one, import, and then 00. We'll import that to 
this one. Import, yes. From there, let's get to chopping sample editor, and you could see we're working with recording zero zero. Let's hear it. Over this. Uh, we're also over this. Uh, we're so right away, this definitely needs to be normalized, obviously. Select effect, fly. Over this. Uh, we're also very concerned for over this. A bit of peaking happening there. I don't like that. Let's see if we could bring that down, actually. Bring it to 90%. Over this. Uh, we're also very concerned over this. Uh, we're also okay, so that peaking is always going to be there. That's the thing about working with the radio, right? The quality isn't always the best. So let's go. We're also very. 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 Okay, and I'm going to crop that. Apply. We're also very. We're also very. Let's reverse it right away. Gear of a slur. Gear of a slur. Gear of a slur. And now it's a slur. different. Gear of a slur. Gear of a slur. Chop it a bit more. Gear of a slur. Gear of a slur. Let's just go ahead and put that at the end. Gear of a slur. 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 Let's try that. <laughs> okay. For the second vocal, it's essentially the exact same process. Sample editor, we're on 007. Way too low. Let's normalize it. So that pat, let's get that. Let's make this a very like rhythmic vocal thing. Just one little pat, one shot. Right, so we're gonna crop that. Whoops. Crop it, apply. Back to pattern that saves. I do like to use effects on these vocals as well. Uh, one of my go-tos is roll. So I'm gonna copy paste that one there. Effects one roll, there it is. So just to give you an idea of what that sounds like. Right, so it'll just roll forever if I let it go. So we obviously can't have that. What we can do is cut it. So right here, I'm just gonna go, um, sorry, delete that. Note, fade, cut, there it is. So it'll stop on that beat. Yeah. And we are all out of space now. Although that is not true at all because we're able to isolate and upload different samples to each step if we want. So we're not out of space at all. I think that's it guys, we, we did it. And now let's talk about DistroKid. If you're shopping for a new music distributor, go with DistroKid. There's a 7% discount linked in the description of this video. My number one favorite free promotional tool for members is Hyperfollow. This is something that I use as like a link and bio link across all of my social medias. Here's what it looks like. You guys have definitely seen these before. You've got my social links. I've also embedded my latest YouTube video as well as the audio to my latest single. There's also other important links that I could point people to, including this DistroKid discount here at the bottom. It's clean, it's flexible, and I'm not spending any extra money on another service that offers the same thing. There's a bunch of companies where that's their thing. They do the link and bio thing but they're expensive, it adds up, and it's a monthly subscription. In this case, you just don't have to worry about that, and it's the, the exact same service and quality. So all in all, a major win if you ask me. Thank you guys for being here. I hope this video gave you guys what you needed to go over to your Poly and Tracker and just knock those drums right out of the park. If you're on the edge of purchasing a Polyand Tracker, I've left an affiliate link for that in the description of this video. Please do use that link if you're interested in buying. I actually make a small commission from the sale at no extra charge to you. Thank you guys for being here. Hope that you subscribe. See you soon.